Good afternoon and welcome to the next in the series of cars from the National Motor Museum at Bewley. And here we have the 1939 Morgan Le Mans replica. So I'll explain a bit about the car and the car's history and show you the engine and just will explain what a wonderful little car this is and what it was built for. So, as described, 1939 Morgan Le Mans replica. Now you hear the word replica, no it is not a, a copy, it's not a recreation. That was the term that was used back in the day when a car was built to homogenize the mark for Le Mans or other race series, it was a copy or continuation of the race car, so a Le Mans replica. Singer had a Le Mans replica, Fraser Nash had TT replicas, and indeed Morgan had a TT replica as well. So 1939, this is one of the Series 1 44 Morgans, 4 4 being 4 cylinder, 4 wheels. 1936, they were going from three-wheelers to four-wheelers with a Ford engine and then the Series 1s went on to have a Coventry Climax engine which this car has. So this differs quite a lot from the standard Series 1 Morgan and there is a very real possibility that this car was the Le Mans team backup car for 1939. The car has a continuous history it was sold to a man in Belper in Derbyshire and after he had it for two years he felt that the car was too small for him. He was six foot two. He was a uh, RAF pilot and he sold that car to a guy called Richard Pritchard and he then went on to give the car to Ken Hill and Ken Hill wrote 14 books about Morgans and indeed Richard Pritchard was my great uncle, Ken Hill was my father, and this is my little car. So it's a great little car. Um, the car was built in 1939, and the Morgan records show that this car was built alongside the team car. And my father strongly believes that this car was the Le Mans team backup car, because in 1939, the team they only sent one car because of the Nazis um, at Le Mans and so that was the car that went on to get second in its class. And it's built down to a weight and built down to a size. So this, this car could be in the small formula. It has a standard engine of 1172cc but it was sleeved down to 1098 so it became under 1100cc. Also the car weighs two pound less than half a ton so it's under half a ton and under 1100 cc now in its full state of tune when the team cars ran they had twin carburetors and would do over 100 mile an hour down the mile sound straight this car with the gearbox to axle ratio and the state of tune it has now would not do 100 miles an hour but i will show you that things that make this car different from a standard Morgan Series 1 are first of all the cycle wings, secondly the exhaust manifold coming out through the side of the bonnet showing the 4 into 1 exhaust and then moving to the back the spare wheel on this car is mounted flush with the back of the car that's because the Le Mans cars had twin fillers and all of this space was a large fuel tank so that the spare wheel was laid flat to give you more room for fuel. It has a Moss four speed gearbox and weirdly enough first gear is where third normally is so you go from first, second, cross, third, fourth. The car at the moment, the way in its current state of tune, is 54 horsepower. It was built, as I say, in 1939, and during the war it had a, a flatbed body.
body put on the back and it was used around the factory and in 1946 it was then sold with a supercharger an R0 eccentric vane supercharger however whilst the car was in my father's ownership the supercharger seized and he returned it to normally aspirated so we have a single Solex downdraft carburetor and this is inlet over exhaust Coventry Climax engine so it's an F head so you have the side valve exhausts and the overhead inlet valves. As I say, it won't do 100 miles an hour now. It happily cruises at 54 miles an hour. Um, will do 70, but I think that's pushing it. Um, it is such a sweet little car and it drives so beautifully. It's just a wonderful thing. The good thing is that unless you are on a fast road, on a normal A road and driving around the forest, this is the brakes are good enough and the car generally performs well enough to keep up with modern traffic. So it's a great little car to drive. But little is the word. Yeah, the wheel size is the same as an Austin 7. These are called Sankey Easy Clean wheels. Um, they are a uh, solid metal wheel, so there's quite a lot of weight in that wheel, actually, surprisingly. Um, but it's an Austin 7 size tire, and indeed, there's no wonder why you'd buy one of these as opposed to an Austin 7 of its day because it is so much more fun and it steers, the handling is absolutely phenomenal. And one thing this car is absolutely brilliant is in the snow. If you drive this in the snow, these little tyres cut through the snow and it goes most places. It really is quite good fun. Anyway, so there it is, the 1939 Morgan Le Mans replica. Thank you very much for watching and Keep watching and we will see you with who knows what, maybe a motorcycle next time. Take care, stay safe.